dead reference into a, a newscast and then into your forecast seems to work. You're, you're, you're on the right track. <laughs> I mean, God, I, I went, the last Grateful Dead concert I went to, and that was a long time ago, it, I went one month before Jerry Garcia died. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Can you believe that? Okay, yeah. I am totally aging myself, but whatever. <laughs> Lincoln City right now, there you go. There's your rain, looking pretty good. It's coming down at the coast. We're getting a break from it just temporarily in the valley. It's on its way though, <laughs> in just a couple of hours. 53 degrees in Lincoln City, where it's not too terribly windy, but definitely the rain is there. Let's take a look at those rainfall totals since midnight. Not a whole lot to report, Eugene, about a tenth of an inch. Salem coming up on three tenths of an inch. Most of the rain has been falling to the north. You can see Aurora over to McMinnville, Tillamook, right around four tenths of an inch. That's kind of uniform over towards uh, Troutdale, Portland, uh, Hillsboro, and Vancouver. Scapoose included in that as well as Astoria. So we're going to add on to these rainfall totals more so tonight through tomorrow morning. And then we'll be getting a little bit more of a break, which I'll show you on the map here in just a second. Over to Port of Kalama. Looks like a nice evening. Rain's on the way for you <laughs> in just about two hours. In fact, 50 degrees in Ridgefield. We're still seeing some very light raindrops falling, keeping the roadways wet there from our ALNA camera. 50 degrees over to Portland. Here's your city view. Great city view. You're seeing some of the clouds actually break up, but still we have rain falling, very light amounts of rain falling out towards PDX, a little bit further east from this point. 52 degrees. Uh, wind is out of the southeast at just three miles per hour. Let's look at the big picture here. So our first cold front has already draped itself across our state. You can see it stretching out from the Blue Mountains on down towards the California border. What's happening in between is we're bringing in this area of low pressure. We have another front still sitting offshore. Eventually colder air is going to be making its way in from the north, but we're still dealing with just a touch of that southerly influence right now. Let's zoom in a little bit closer and I'll show you where we're seeing the bulk of the moisture here in the last half hour or so. Most of it has transitioned over the Cascades, heading out towards central and eastern Oregon. We're still getting a big chunk of moisture sitting offshore from Seaside and Pacific City. And within the last couple of hours, we've had a few offshore lightning strikes. Haven't seen anything actually reach the coastline, but it's still a possibility even yet tonight. So let's take a look at our extended forecast and that timing. So the next round of rain coming in for the valley that will be a little bit more noticeable and more than just a few raindrops. That'll be closer to about 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Coming up from Salem all the, all the way through Portland, including the coastline and also really most of our state. We're going to continue to see this moisture wrap around itself through Friday. So now Friday afternoon and evening, we see that moisture kind of transition to the south, closer to Sisters and Bachelors. You're looking at some pretty good uh, snowfall totals out towards Bend and Pendleton. That's where most of the moisture is from this point forward going to be hanging out. We get to Saturday afternoon. We've had a break for most of the day up and down the valley. Some of that wraparound moisture will be visiting us again Saturday afternoon and evening and then all over moving out towards the east and the biggest snowfall accumulations are going to be happening for Idaho and Montana. So if you have travel plans out that way, be prepared for some winter driving. Talking about those snow levels, we could see it as low as Highway 26 government camp, perhaps a trace of snow accumulating up to about one inch. And the best possibility for timing on that is really going to be Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening through those overnight hours and early Sunday morning when some of the coldest air is going to be setting in. Other than that, you have to go a little bit further south into the east to get some good time snow accumulations. Not seeing any of that here in Portland. Look at your seven day forecast. Your temperatures will remain cool in the low 50s. Those overnight temperatures, as soon as we clear things out, freezing overnight Sunday night into Monday morning. All right, Natasha, and those who don't know, now we know you are a deadhead. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Thank you. I, I always.